Okay, so first of all, go to View and then Macros and Record Macro. I am going to call this macro Hide Chart and store it in this workbook and OK. And now the macro is recording. I'm going to go to Home and Find and Select and then open up the Selection pane. Then I am going to hide the chart by clicking this icon here. Now I can go back to View and Macros and stop recording. And the macro will have recorded what I just did. In order to see the macro, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11 to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Then find the workbook that you are currently in and go to Modules and double click on Module 1. And this is the macro that I just recorded. I don't need any of these comments here, so I'm going to delete those. And now I have a macro which is just three lines long. The first line starts the macro and the last line ends the macro. And then I have one line of code here. And what this code is doing is looking in the active sheet for a shape which is called chart one and it's changing the visibility of that chart to false. So it's making the chart invisible. Now I can save this. And in order to save it, I have to save it in a macro enabled workbook. So I'm going to select no. And then I'll change the save as type to an Excel macro enabled workbook and save. Then I can show the chart again and then go to Macros and View Macros. Then select the name of the macro that I just made called Hide Chart and run it. And it will hide the chart. Now I can also create a button for this if I go to Insert and insert a text box. I am going to type Hide in here and then just do some quick formatting. Now I can right click on the text box and assign macro. And the macro I'm going to assign is the one I just made called hide chart and OK. And now when I click on the text box, it will run the hide chart macro for me and it hides the chart. Now I can also do the opposite of this. If I go back to the Visual Basic Editor, I can copy all of this using Control C and then Control V to paste. And then I just need to change a couple of things in here. So I'm going to change it from hide chart to show chart and change the visibility here from false to true because I want it to make the chart appear and I'm going to save those changes and then if I press control and shift and then click and drag on this text box I can make another copy of it and I'm going to change this to say show and then right click and assign macro and this time I will assign it the show chart macro and OK. And now when I click on this, it will show me the chart and then I can hide and show the chart using these buttons. Now you can also make the buttons appear and disappear. If I double click on the name of the text box here, I can rename it to show box and if I double click on this text box, I can rename it to hide box. Then I can go back to the Visual Basic Editor and copy this line of code here and use Control V to paste it and then change the name inside the quotation marks to hide box. 
I also need to delete the part here that says range array and also the closing brackets at the other end. You also don't need the range array bit up here either, so I'll just delete that as well. Then I'll take another copy of this and paste it down here and change this here to show box and then change this to true. So what this is going to do is when I run the hide chart macro, it's going to make the chart invisible and also make the hide text box invisible and make the show text box appear. Then I'm going to copy all of this again and paste it down here and this time do the opposite. So change this here to true and this to true as well and then this to false. And so when I run the show chart macro, it will make the chart appear and make the hide text box appear and then make the show text box disappear. And I will save these changes. And now when I click the hide text box, it makes the chart disappear and the hide text box also disappear and it makes the show text box appear. Then when I click on the show text box, it makes the chart appear and the hide text box appear and the show text box disappear. So they are doing the opposite things and in this way I can hide and show the chart. I can also hold down control and select both of the text boxes, then go to shape former and align and align center and align middle, and then both text boxes are directly on top of each other. So when I click on the hide text box, it makes the chart disappear and the hide text box disappear and the show text box appear. However, when I click on the show text box, it does the opposite thing and it makes the chart appear and the hide text box appear and the show text box disappear. So I can click on this to show and hide the chart. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to show and hide a chart using VBA in Excel and that is everything.